Good morning, beautiful souls. This video is going to be a follow-up uh, to the comment section of the EKG video. I got a lot of feedback from that EKG video, uh, episode 4. So, um, let me start out with Anonymous. I got an anonymous email who I guess wanted to know a little bit about myself. Uh, a little bit more about myself. Um, I am a registered nurse. That's what the RN stands for, registered nurse. The BSN stands for a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Now, it took me seven years to get a bachelor's degree because don't forget I was homeless. So uh, at that time, I went to my therapist, and, I, and the therapist said, what do you want to be in five years? And I said, I want to go to college, but I don't see how. And then he said, his name was Dr. Hammer, he's passed away now. He said, uh, well, go to the college and do this, do this, do this. So I signed up for EOF, Equal Opportunity Fund. So... I got some uh, monies from the local college, and I was working at Burger King at the time. Okay, that was great, all right? But EOF only pays for one degree. After I got the local degree, I went to a bigger college, bigger local college, and got a bachelor's degree, but it took me uh, seven years because I had to work during those years. Um, and then, you know, life got better and better and better, and here we are today. So that's what the BSN stands for. It's just a bachelor's degree. Uh, the CLNC stands for Certified Legal Nurse Consultant. Now, to be certified in something, you have to have so many continuing education credits per year, and you have to work 3,000 hours in that field. Now, what does a certified legal nurse consultant do? Basically, they review cases to see if you have a case. So that was fun to do. Uh, am I a registered nurse now? I am retired. Am I a certified legal nurse consultant now? I am retired. This means that I am not practicing nursing. However, I am still tutoring uh, nurses to take their state boards so that they can become registered, so that they can become licensed, you know, so that's what I'm doing these days. I still tutor, okay? And I'm very proud to say, as you can see uh, uh, in the back behind me, that I have uh, tutored in every state of the union and in seven countries including some island, uh, what is it, Island of the Marinas or something? It's uh, 100 miles north of Guam. Never heard of it. I even had to mark it on the map. So, so yes, seven countries and all 50 states I have tutored since 1997. That's all I do these days is just tutor. I do not practice nursing because I don't have a license to practice, right? But you can still tutor, and I had to retire due to health reasons. So, you know, God has blessed me with my mind. Once you have a good mind, that cannot be taken from you. So, am I a teacher? No, I am not a, 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 a nursing instructor or anything like that either. I'm just a tutor, so I don't teach nursing, I don't practice nursing, I tutor nursing. But like I said, once you have that knowledge in your head, you, that really doesn't go away. So I'm very blessed to uh, be able to tutor nurses. No dementia has set in yet. <laughs> okay. All right, now that being said, I hope that answers your question in the email about my credentials. Now let's go into some of the comments here. Do you have a question or a concern? Would you like the guidance of a retired registered nurse? If so, contact me at the email you see on your screen. You can remain anonymous, just state so in your correspondence. 
So this morning, I'm just going to have a laid-back video and answer some of the uh, 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 comments in the comment section here. Uh, Jay says, this was really interesting. I never knew how uh, an EKG worked in relation to what the heart does. Uh, perhaps the most easiest and most interesting uh, thing on the EKG is is remember the QRS complex, that R peak? I think it's very interesting. Every R peak is a beat of your pulse. When you feel your pulse, you're feeling the QRS complex. That, I think, is cool on the EKG. You know? Thank you for the comment, Jay. Distracted me, says Annie. I see why you have successful students. You made this very easy to understand. I am sure Anonymous will be able to walk into the doctor's office and explain the EKG to him. Thank you for sharing. Well, uh, distracted me. Thank you very much for making that comment because I do love to take something difficult like the doctor's notes and explain them very easily to the students and to my YouTube friends. There's a lot of YouTubers that get a hold of me behind the scenes and I am always so excited to read their um, lab reports. But I always tell them, if you know, do you mind, do you really want to know the truth? Because if I really read their lab reports, sometimes it's not always good news. And I always tell you, always, always, always consult your doctor. I am for advice and information only. Always consult your doctor. And there's plenty of times where I put my YouTube friends' minds at ease, right? Uh, they're, they're worrying about something they don't have to worry about. So that happens quite often, too. Oftentimes, YouTubers call in, call on me when uh, they meet other nurses on YouTube or when they uh, ha meet other YouTubers that say they have an illness. So, I invite YouTube, my YouTube friends and foe, to, um, you know, inquire, you know, what, seek information from me. I will not, however, I will not get involved in drama. I will always um, uh, take a uh, neutral stance if, if you're using me for your drama, okay? I like drama. I like to watch it a little bit. But when you call on me and you want my professional input uh, because I have knowledge about nursing, that I take that very serious and very professional, and you can always count on me. So thank you, Distracted Me, for giving me that wonderful compliment. Okay, the next person, I'm sorry guys, it's early in the morning here. Okay. Not too old to be crafty, states, this was very interesting to me. Although I know exactly how the heart works, I was a biology teacher in high school, okay? So that's very good of, uh, not too old to be crafty. <laughs> I was always curious about how to interpret an EKG. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. You have a gift for teaching. And I believe we have that in common. I enjoyed my teaching career. Well, not too old to be crafty. Uh, I have been to your channel. I know that you're from England, so welcome to America. And um, I appreciate that you were a biology teacher. However, I gotta say, when I was in school, I did not like math and I did not like science. So why I became a nurse is because I was born with uh, cerebral palsy. So I walk with a slight limp. So I said to myself, 
what job can I do? Because I had the opportunity to go to college, right? So I said, what job can I do where they're, that you're not eye candy? Either you can do it or you can't do it. And I love helping people. I love taking care of people. So I became, I went into the nursing field, partly because I had that free money, that EOF money, right? And I knew because I was homeless, I know, and because I was a foster kid, I didn't know where I was going to live when I got older, what state I was going to live in, right? So I said to myself, what? So I picked nursing for three reasons. You don't have to be eye candy, right? Uh, you either know how to do your job or you don't know how to do your job. You're either good with your job, you're good with people, or you're not, right? No eye candy there. Uh, no having to flirt with your boss to get a raise, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Even when I worked at Burger King, they didn't let me do the register because I guess I walked with a limp. I have no idea. It's a slight limp, but nevertheless, it's still there. Now I walk with a walker, so it's quite obvious. <laughs> but anyway, um, so the other reason was I didn't know where I was going to live. And the third reason was, is because the Bible says, Whoso giveth a cup of water in my name, giveth it unto me. And I said to myself, well, when you give out medicine, you're giving lots of cups of water. <laughs> right? So those are the three reasons why I picked nursing. But because I was not good at biology, right? Because I was not good at science, because I was not good at math, I struggled in nursing school. Uh, not too old to be crafty. I did. I failed a nursing class and had to retake it, and I had to and I had to take my state boards three times. But nevertheless, I finished my nursing. You know, I became a nurse. I practiced nursing. I was really good at it, and I still am good at tutoring. So, <laughs> uh, teaching. I might have a um, a knack for teaching. You know, taking something hard and making it simple. But let me tell you, I do not have a knack for biology. Although over the years, I've grown to love it because of the human body. But it, it didn't start out like that. So thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Let's see. And Jay said again, he said, I am curious how would you know if you had angina or angina? Listen, guys, it's angina, not angina. Okay, angina. <laughs> okay. So how would you know if you had angina compared to chest muscle soreness? Okay, well, Jay, I suppose you work out at the gym, right? So if you're going to work out at the gym and lift those heavy weights, you're going to have trapezius muscle soreness, you're going to have pectoral muscle soreness, um, that's due to your weight, okay? When you have chest pain due to a heart attack, it's usually a sharp pain in your chest. And it might go away, but it's usually a sharp pain in your chest accompanied with tingling in your left arm and your left hand, accompanied with uh, jaw, your jaw feels funny, so there's not just soreness. If you're having a heart attack, you have other signs and symptoms that go with it. You also might feel very tired, you might have trouble breathing, you might have uh, uh, unexplained uh, passing out, you might have dizziness. There's other things that go along with your chest pain. But specific to chest pain, that's a sharp, sharp pain in your chest compared to muscle soreness, which is usually chronic. Now that's from lifting weights, right? Or, and, and that's over a long period of time. A heart attack is sudden, all right? So I hope that answers your question. Thanks for the inquiry about my credentials. Thanks for, you know, the kind comments, and I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next Ask a Nurse. 
don't forget, you can uh, ask in the comment section or send me an email. I'll be more than happy to help anybody, anywhere, anytime, as soon as I can fit it into the schedule. God bless, and see you later. Do you have a question or a concern? Would you like the guidance of a retired registered nurse? If so, contact me at the email you see on your screen. You can remain anonymous, just state so in your correspondence.